So you know you are uh, in a weird place when you see a sign like that. Beware of venomous snakes. You realize you're not back home anymore. <laughs> So this is about the cheapest rental car you can possibly imagine. Having this Nissan Sentra, I ran it down to what 30 miles to the tank, something yep. like that, and it cost $18.85 to fill up the tank, and that's on garbage 87 grade octane. This car doesn't deserve anything more because it's garbage. But on a side note. Enterprise did reach out to me via Instagram. They wanted everything. They wanted to know what happened. They wanted reservation numbers, locations, blah, blah, blah. I ended up getting in touch with a guy in Tennessee at Enterprise, and he's actually going to be hooking me up. Gotta be kidding me. This is a super steep, like super steep, like super, super steep. I just hope nobody's coming around the curve here. Freaking ears are popping. Turn left on memory way. Huh? Come on, man. My nuts are shriveling up. In 700 feet, you'll arrive. Your destination will be on your right. This is ridiculous. Almost bogged down. You've arrived. Destination is on your right. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, I don't think we're leaving here because. I'm having a panic attack and I'm probably not going to book this thing ever again. I screwed up. <laughs> oh man, I'm going to die. Make sure Huxley is okay. No, make <laughs> sure me is okay. This is our chateau, Fireside Chalet. Can you guys, I honestly don't even want to walk in. I'm freaking shaking. For those of you that know me, I am deathly afraid of heights. I really don't know how I'm gonna get this thing turned around because it looks like there's a lot of room here um, and my hand's like shaking ridiculously. But holy crap, look at this. That's, those are the Great Smoky Mountains. How do people climb that? I mean, I'm, I'm shaking, I'm nervous. But my question is, this over here. This is my question. So, you drive in, and then you park over there. There's like a little grill over there. And I'm shaking so bad right now. <laughs> How am I supposed to turn this around and not fall off the edge? If you guys don't ever get videos from me again after this, um, it's because I died. It's because I got extremely nervous and 
died. I just fell off the side. Look at this. Like this, this is steep and it keeps going up. There's a, uh, there's another log cabin right there. But, oh my God. I mean, this, the view is amazing. If you guys are into views and having just crazy, I'm gonna keep using the word views, but you know, it's, it's amazing. I just wish I wasn't afraid of heights. You know, this is the wall and that's, that's where I'm standing. I don't even want to walk over there. <sighs> and we got to drive up and down this every day. First things first, I'm going to try to accomplish my fear and tackle my fear of heights. So let's get these groceries inside our luggage inside. Um, let's, let's do like a little tour because there's a bunch of people that want to see the inside of this, this type of thing, this type of cabin. Um, let's go over here to the other side. I'm, I'm, whoosh, that scared me because it was like an abrupt stop there. So, you got a jacuzzi over here. Oh, they have, I should have brought my detailing equipment. They have a hose over here because this bad boy right here needs a bad cleaning. Oh, the Hyundai. I'll tell you guys a story about that and why I don't have the Nissan. So there's a little grill here and I don't know what that says. AS something. I don't even want to walk over there and see what that says. But there is another cabin over there. But oh my God, the views are crazy. I just... I, I just wish I wasn't afraid of heights. So this is the front door as you walk in. The left side has a immediate drop off. So let's go downstairs and hope I don't fall and bust my head. Ooh, it's cold down here. Whoa. Pool table, mural. Dartboard. Lounge, a couch to lounge around in, some pool cues, st sticks, whatever. Um, halfway set up TV. Some sort of closet. It says fire extinguisher inside. I'm going to make my way, not today, but I'm going to make my way on the balcony eventually. All right, so as you enter the door where we were just parked there's a fireplace that you can turn on with the dial there flat screen TV that actually wasn't there in the pictures they had like a little TV with a butt with a butt tube TV whatever you want to call it sitting right there so that's a nice addition there's a heart-shaped jacuzzi inside queen or king size bed I don't know full bathroom with shower toilet everything kitchen Balcony off the back. I'll open the door so you guys can see the view. What do you guys think? Crazy, huh? Yeah, that's, 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 that is nuts. So let's go ahead and shut that. I know I should be really manly at this point and just toughen up and deal with it, but I can't do that. Quick story on how we got the Hyundai. So the Nissan Sentra, we were supposed to be driving it all week and about 50 miles in, uh, <laughs> Alyssa realized that it was really hurting her back and the lumbar support on that is fixed. So it was like a big tennis ball just stabbing you in the back and you couldn't move it and the seat didn't adjust up or down so you're basically at a fixed height all you could do is slide and you know recline the back uh, most cars these days you can actually pivot the seat up and down but yeah our heads were probably two inches from the ceiling for about 12 hours yesterday huh but I'm only five four. yeah she's five four I'm six foot she was closer to the ceiling somehow I, I don't know actually my seat 
went down a couple inches. Hers didn't. It was just fixed. So contacted Enterprise here in, in Tennessee and they said that they would um, without hesitation give us a a full size vehicle because that's what I that's what I reserved. So we got there and he said, Yeah, we can put you on a Hyundai, Hyundai Santa Fe Sport and I said, I'll take it. <laughs> so I knew that was a little SUV or ESV, whatever you want to call it, crossover. Um, which is perfect, super smooth, super comfortable, and gas mileage is about the same. So that's a quick story on how we have the Hyundai. Thanks you guys for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll see you guys on the next one. It's caught in the crossfire.